So we are surrounded by fluids. You know, we only live because there are fluids around us. We take baths, we breathe fluids, we swim, and we f some of us fly. And uh, what I do is really that. I try to understand the way things flow. And when people ask me, why should you care about the way things flow? I have good answers for that. And one of them is, well, it's so important for human life. You need to learn how to breathe. There's fluids around your body. And nowadays, one of the biggest challenges we have is water, right? And that is a part that we can, we can take. And I'm interested in the way things, water flow, air flows, but everything also that is a little more complicated or complex, if you like, that contains polymers, that contain particles, that even contain life. And, and by life, I mean something like bacteria or algae. And this type of research is very interdisciplinary. We can talk about biology, we can talk about chemistry, applying math, and even physics, and even robotics, something more applied. As I just want to take, take the time to tell you one example of this is actually what is a, a living fluid? And if you take my cup of water, if you look at it, it's pretty still, it won't do anything. But if you have some bacteria in it, all of a sudden you will see it flowing. And you will, would you like not to drink that? And, but there are many questions arise from that in understanding how these fluids flow and how they apply to technology, how they apply to biofuels, how they apply to uh, healthcare, and how they apply to a range of other applications that is out there. So that's fluid mechanics in a nutshell.